My throat hurts so bad. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Anushka. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be doing another foundation review for you guys. This one's super exciting because it's on the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Long Wear Matte Foundation. I got matte twice there. You guys know I love LA Girl Cosmetics. They have amazing products. You guys know I love the HD foundation you know the one that I always rave about I'm really excited to try this one because I'm more into matte foundations lately I'm sorry if I sound weird I have like a sore throat coming I feel so bad you know when there's someone sick in the house you're bound to get sick as well so I feel like I'm starting to get sick now before we go on to the video I'm going to give my post notification shout out to one of you guys you guys have been loving the shout outs right lately so I'm going to keep doing them I'm going to go on my latest video. Today's post notification shout out goes to Priya Jessa. Thank you so much Priya for all the love and pressing that bell button. I know you guys have pressed the bell button ages ago. Um, sometimes I'll give it to people who say they've just pressed it. Sometimes I'll give it to people who I see um, comment a lot on my videos and you know watch consistently. So I do keep an eye out. I, I read all the comments. Um, shall we jump onto this video now? <laughs> Alright, I have two shades. I can't tell you guys enough how much I struggled to buy this foundation because obviously it's online. I have to buy it online and find my shade online. And if you watched all my foundation reviews, you know that I don't really have a trouble finding my shade online. Like I always am on point. But this one gave me some trouble. This one gave me some real trouble. And there was not a lot of YouTubers online using these colours. I picked up Caramel first, which I swatched and looked way too orange. But the tone looks nice. And then you guys, a lot of you guys then suggested Cafe, which I then went and bought. I wanted to get Soft Honey, but that was out of stock. Um, so we're going to see which one out of these two suit me the best. I think Cafe will, but it looks more, you know how, you, can you see how this one's golden and this one's like, more. So it says on the back, it's a medium to full coverage, which I love. Smooth long wear suede finish. It's a matte liquid foundation. These were really affordable, around £10, but I'll link it in the info box. So yeah, I'm just going to go on to Chinese. You get 30ml in here. It's got a matte glass packaging and a pump, of course, which is, you know, a thumbs up for me. I'm going to swatch Cafe. And then I'm going to swatch... That is caramel. Can you guys see the difference in tone in that? This one's much more neutral pinky. This is much warm. I think... No, I think I'm definitely going to go with caramel because cafe is way too neutral. Again, that's okay if it's too dark. I'm not going anywhere special today. And if I if I do really like it, like the Tadnawa's foundation in Tahoe that I recently love, I just use my lightening drops with. So I'm just gonna put this. Okay, so I just stippled that on, and I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender to soak up any excess and just blend this seamlessly damn that is orange <gasps> that is orange <sighs> gonna make this foundation work i wish it was my right color though once it's all over my face i think it'll be fine but yeah my foundation is looking pretty good to me I'm going to try it with a brush. With the brush it seems to be applying really nice as well. Don't forget the neck. I thought I was really going to do this review with Cafe but it's just way too cool tone. I think if I do like this foundation I'll probably try getting um, soft honey soft honey looks really pale with a brush and a sponge there's no difference they give both the same finish 
I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm now back and I've done the rest of my makeup. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial on this. I don't know. I don't know if you guys like to see colour because, I don't know. Just let me know if you want to see more colour, coloured makeup. Um, but anyways, I do have to say that I really love the look of this foundation. Like, it looks absolutely flawless. Damn. I really wish, like, it wasn't. I mean, it does work right now, but I really wish it wasn't that dark. From the looks of it right now, I'm loving it. So if it does stay on throughout the day, then I'm definitely going to try soft honey. If not, then I'm just going to give up and use my lightening drops. But it looks so flawless around my mouth. There's no smile lines. It's smoothed out my pores around here. It's set settled in. Like, it's not tacky. It feels really nice. It's full coverage. Made my skin look flawless and even... I mean it ticks all the right boxes there's not one downside that I see to it apart from the shades I do have to say that the shades aren't that great because I think they have 12 shades and I believe they have 12 shades along across all their other foundations but I just feel like that's not good enough and if they're gonna cater to like a majority of the skin tone range I think they should definitely look into um, expanding their shade range because I couldn't find the right color for me I really couldn't to me they're quite a big brand now so I don't know if it's like a um, budget issue or whatever but I think that if you're going to come out with a foundation then you should maybe look into you know improving the shade range because I, I found it a, a bit hard to find my colour and when I look at the shade range I don't think that it caters to everyone. It might look like it does but they only have a few tones in for like a specific shade range throughout the whole range so I think there's a lot of big jumps as well and there's not a lot of deep shades in my opinion so yeah that's a downside to me it's affordable though so that's a big thumbs up I love discovering new um, amazing drugstore foundations but the shade range it just looks so good guys I love this what to do let me know what you guys think, does it look too orange? I feel like I look like a tangerine. I think the concealer really helped to balance it out, but you know, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm pleased with the way it looks, so I'm gonna come back later on. I've told you guys that, to me, this is a perfect foundation so far. Like, I love the way this looks. It looks so, so soft. It's not cakey, it's lightweight, it covers everything. It's definitely on the good side right now, but we're gonna see how it wears throughout the day because that's important. It's now 9.21 a.m. So I'm gonna keep this on for the rest of the day and I'll be back later on and we're gonna see how this looks. Honestly, I'm very curious to know, but so far it's a 10 out of 10 for me, like the way it looks. Actually, I'm gonna give it 9.5 out of 10 because the shade range needs improvement. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, it is now around 6.30 to 5. My phone's up to says, but it's about full. I need to make sure to get this video up in time for you guys. Um, so I've had it on for around 7 hours, I would say. This foundation is glued to my skin. Honestly, it, but when you look at it, it's very like yellow orangey. But the finish of it is so beautiful. It's so pretty. It's stayed on throughout the seven hours really well. I've just got a little bit of smile lines here which I'll show you guys up close. But everywhere else looks really, really smooth and it's faded a little bit here. But that's probably me because I've been rubbing my face, I'm not sure, but I'm very pleased by this. I'm definitely gonna see if I can get the soft honey when it comes back in stock and I'll let you guys know. And if, um, if I do get it, you'll see it in my future tutorials for sure. But I love this foundation. The only thing that's down for me is the shade. Like, it's too warm. This could probably be my summer shade, but it's very orangey, very dark. It's a downer. I really wish the colour was right, because this foundation looks so nice. I think I'll give it a 9 out of 10, actually, instead of a 9.5, because I've got slight smile lines here, and the colour range needs some more work. Here's a close-up. Can you see the smile lines slightly? But just look everywhere else, it's just absolutely just stunning, like smooth, flawless. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so those are my thoughts on the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. It's definitely matte, definitely full coverage. It does the job. I didn't get oily, I didn't even need to touch up anywhere. Just a slight glow that's coming through, but nothing major. I really like this foundation. 
So if you have any questions about the foundation, let me know in the comments below. Um, I feel like Caramel is more like an NC45 shade. It's very warm. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more foundation uh, reviews. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!